What are signs? What's going on, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? How you guys doing? Welcome back, those of you that's returning, and welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. Welcome to Be True Tarot. You guys, thank you so much for all the donations, the super chats, cash apps, Venmo's. I see it all. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, subscribes. Thank you, guys, those of you that have become members of my Patreon as well. I greatly appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Nothing goes unnoticed. Water signs. What's going on with you guys? I hope you all are enjoying the month of March, okay? I hope you all have are having a great weekend okay excuse me <laughs> hope you all are having a great weekend let's get into your next 48 let's see what messages spirit has for you this is for cancer scorpio and pisces sun moon venus rising and north node placements if you have water in any of those placements then you may definitely find that something i say today resonates with you this is in regards from now to the next 48 hours Water signs. This is a general message, meaning I'm picking up on multiple energies. Everything may not be for you, okay? Take only what's for you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Keep an open mind when listening to these messages. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Moon. Somebody here could have recently got a dog. That's nice. All right, water signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Ooh, the Empress. We love to see the Empress. Anything for the Empress. Empress, there's somebody here trying to manipulate you or manipulate your energy or do spell work on you. Somebody here is working on you. It's a bunch of bullshit, okay? It's a bunch of fuck shit. Somebody here is trying to cause illusions, cast illusions over you, but you're too smart. You're too smart. Yeah, you're too smart. Somebody is trying to figure out how they're going to do this. Yeah, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. A lot of you are sailing to karma waters. Some of you could actually be going a distance. Congratulations for those of you that's moving, relocating. Some of you could be going on vacation as well. Safe travels. I feel like somebody here is really upset <laughs> that they can no longer attack you because you're not going to be living in close proximity to them anymore. So this could even be somebody that lives around you that's been attacking you. You could be moving. Yeah, I feel like you're setting out on a brand new journey, chariot energy. You could actually be moving. So now this person is even more mad. Yeah, that's the truth. It's like if somebody was attacking you that lived by you, this person is going to be fucking pissed the fuck off because... You're not going to be nowhere near them. Whoever this is, they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with your energy. It could be a Capricorn or somebody here with strong Capricorn in their chart. Somebody here could also be going away. Somebody here could be being removed from your energy. Somebody here has legal issues. Somebody here could actually be getting locked the fuck up. And that's also a blessing, okay? Because this person has been doing too much. So for some of you, somebody here has been doing too much. And this person could be having legal issues. They could be actually going to jail. They could be going away. Yeah, somebody here feels defeated. This is bad news for them. They're upset. Oh, well, you know, somebody here should have left y'all alone. Somebody here kept fucking with y'all, kept doing the fucking most. And now this person is getting caught up. They could be a Capricorn. They could be a Leo, an Aries, Sagittarius. But this person is defeated, okay? They feel defeated, okay? I'm hearing that they feel defeated. They done got caught up. They was being watched. While they were watching you, someone was watching them. Not only was God watching them and your ancestors, your spirit team, but somebody here in the 5D was also, I mean, excuse me, somebody here that was also in the 3D is watching this person. And now they got legal issues. Now they got problems. For some of you, like I said, this person is going to jail. <laughs> like, is that bad? I don't know. Somebody here was fucking with y'all too much. Like, they became obsessed with y'all. It's sickening. It's disgusting. Yeah. Somebody here could also be getting in trouble for lying on you. It's a whole lot of shit going on. Somebody here is in heavy regret for lying on you. Somebody here could be in heavy regret because they lied on you. They tried to set you up in some sort of way. It's a whole bunch of shit going on, y'all. whole bunch of shit. 
somebody here don't know what to do. Yep. I felt that. I, yo, I swear I felt the Ten of Wands. I said somebody don't know what to do. Turn the deck over. Ten of Wands. Somebody here don't know what to do. They heavily burdened and weighed down. Somebody here is so fucking miserable, water signs. I feel like somebody here wants to literally be put out of their misery. Like somebody here could even be wanting to, you know, check. I don't know. Like somebody here wants to not even be here anymore. They could be having those kind of thoughts. That's that's hard. But that's what I'm getting. Somebody here is really feeling that overwhelmed. Somebody here could be going through a breakup or a, a bad divorce as well. Somebody here is just like, yo, I just want shit to be over. Like, I just don't even want to be here. Like, that's how somebody feels. Somebody here is really going through a lot mentally. Water signs, I hope that this is not you. Maybe this is somebody that you're around, somebody that you know. This could even be somebody that was attacking y'all. All right, let's see what's going on. Hierophant. Give me something on the Hierophant. I feel like your prayers are working. Uh, water signs, if you was praying for protection, it's here. Okay, the Hierophant to the Seven of Wands. I feel like your protection is here. I feel like God has stepped in. Your spirit gods have stepped in. Yeah, they're blocking out shit. They're, they're blocking out. But somebody here is relentless. Like somebody here keeps doing something. The eight of wands in the reverse came out and then it kept trying to flip over. But it came, it kept going back to the reverse. Yo, I know y'all probably couldn't see it because it was on my end right here. But I couldn't get this eight of wands to stay in the reverse to save my life. Somebody here is just doing the absolute fucking most. Like somebody here keeps getting blocked because you're protected. And it's like, they just keep trying to go around it. So somebody here just keeps trying to go around your protection. Somebody here wants to like disconnect you from your, uh, your, your source. Like somebody here wants to disconnect you from your faith, your belief, your wisdom, what you know, your knowledge, your intuition, your discernment. Like somebody here wants to disconnect you from your ancestors, from the most high himself. Like somebody here just really wants to interject like somebody here wants to get in between you and your faith because they feel like your faith is the reason why they can't successfully uh attack you this is ridiculous okay this is why this person is now having all of these dark thoughts because what the fuck leave you alone like somebody here is ridiculous like this is ridiculous like what the fuck is this this shit is ridiculous i'm not i don't know yeah, somebody here could have been trying to sacrifice you. Somebody here could also be worried, okay, because they they feel like they're going to pass. Somebody here could have actually passed away in their life, and they may be feeling like it's their fault. So now they're scared. Now they're nervous. This person could have been doing death spells on you, wishing death on you, and somebody here could have actually died in their life. Somebody here could have passed away in their life, or they feel like death is coming for them. Death is near. Now this person is panicking. They're in fear. Now this was ten of wands, burdened and fear, worried. Staying up late at night, paranoid as fuck. Like, somebody here is losing their shit right now. And this is because they was doing the absolute most. Come on. Like, come on now. Like, somebody here was doing the most, y'all. I'm Like, I'm telling y'all. I wish y'all understood how much somebody was doing. Or maybe you do because you was feeling it. All right? Somebody here could be a Virgo. They could have Virgo in their chart. But now somebody here feels like they have to give something up. They don't really want to, but they feel like they have to because somebody here could have lost their life. This shit is this shit is bad here, y'all. <laughs> okay, this is bad. It's really bad. Like your protection is is nothing to be fucked with. It's nothing to be played with. And in no way are you going to be disconnected from your faith, from your ancestors, from God. Like no, in no way will you be disconnected. Um, you need to continue to stay prayed up. But these people are unhappy because they know this. The sun in the reverse. They don't want to accept this, though. Like, somebody here don't want to accept this truth. <laughs> somebody here could be a Leo. I'm getting Leo, Virgo, Scorpio energy. Very significant. Yeah, you're a ma You're Somebody here feels like you're a magician, okay? Like, they feel like it's something that you're doing on your end. Like, it's not God. It's not prayers. It got to be something evil or diabolical that's protecting you. So, whoever this is, they give the devil power, which is why they're doing this fuck shit in the first place. But this is somebody that feels like you must be evil or even more evil than they are. 
because nobody has that kind of protection from God. It's the devil protecting you or you're doing something demonic over there that's protecting you. I'm more evil than you are. I'll show you. I'm the bigger devil. I'm the greatest devil of all time, not you. <laughs> this person's fucking crazy, okay? Like, this shit is insane. This shit is ridiculous, okay? This shit is absurd. This motherfucker's ludicrous, okay? These motherfuckers is lunatics. Like, that's really the energy that this is giving me. Like, I have to laugh, bro, because it's like, what? Like, somebody here's like, no, my devil is stronger than your devil. And it's like, mm, no, my God is stronger than your devil, and it's like, no, it's not God. You're the devil as well. And it's like, no, it's God. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm getting a kick out of this shit. I mean, there's nothing funny about this, but you have to fucking laugh because people out here are just wicked. You know, like, they just wicked as fuck. Whoever this is, they're wicked. But somebody's scared now. So it's like you ain't that motherfucking big and bad. Somebody's scared because somebody that they love is sick or passed away or they just feel like death is near, death is coming for them. If somebody died close to them or somebody died that they know, this person is like feeling very guilty about this person's death. They like, yo, I know that's because of what I did to so-and-so. I know that's because of what I did to water signs. I'm telling you, this person knows they pissed off. Somebody is pissed off. They also pissed off because this cycle closed out. They can't keep attacking you. They're going to keep losing people. This motherfucker ain't going to... Listen, it's going to be. It's gonna continue to be endings and death in their life. Somebody here knows for a fact they need to stop with the death spells. If they're going to continue to do shit, they know for a fact it can't be no more death spells because that shit is hitting them bad. I'm feeling like somebody here is losing people in threes. <sighs> here we go. <laughs> you know, like it's a lot going on here. Give me something on the four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, these people are losing a lot. Four of wands in the reverse. Somebody here could be also breaking up with somebody, getting a divorce. Somebody here could be losing a lover. Yeah, but you moving on, for, uh, water signs. I was about to call y'all fire signs. You could have fire in your chart. But you moving on, water signs. The chariot, okay. Cancer energy. Some of you have Gemini, Virgo, Taurus placements. But you moving forward, okay, water signs. Moving forward. Your road is open. Your pathway is clear. You're free to go wherever you want to go. God is encouraging you to get a move on, okay? You could be being redirected to a new beginning, a new environment. Yeah, and I feel like you're excited about this. Like I said, for some of you, this is something that you prayed for. You've been praying to get the opportunity to move or to change up your environment, relocate. It's coming, okay? Your prayers are being answered. They have been heard. I got the chariot here, the wheel of fortune, the fool card. You are moving forward, baby. Things are really picking up for you. And this devil here is watching you. And this motherfucker is crying. The devil is crying because you got a new home. I'm telling you, you got a new home. You got a new place to stay. It's going to be safe. You're going to feel good. You're going to be comfortable. It's going to just be a good thing for you, okay? This is going to be a great thing for you. This is something that you've been praying, hoping, wishing for. And this is going to be a beautiful day for you, a beautiful time for you. Yeah, and I also feel like there's an emperor that's around. Okay, who's the emperor? Give me something on this emperor. Some of you could be connecting to an Aries or somebody here could have Aries in their chart. Somebody here could be an Aquarius. Oh. So, yeah, somebody here could be a Leo Sagittarius as well. Whoever this is, they're trying to disconnect from a gold digger and come towards you. This is somebody that wants to spin the block, eight of cups in the reverse. But I feel like you don't trust this person. This person sees that you're celebrating. They want to get away from a queen of cups in the reverse. They really missing you. They want to get away from a karmic. They feel like they're going through a lot of issues with this karmic. Yeah, the empress in the reverse. This is a karmic distorted feminine. Empress in the reverse, queen of cups in the reverse. I'm hearing that this woman is putting shit in this man's food. He could have found that out. But with the empress in the reverse and the queen of cups in the reverse, this is a distorted karmic feminine here that this masculine is with. They're in the emperor in the, in the upright position. So, all right, I'll give them that. But they got with a karmic feminine here that tricked them, that was doing work on them, also putting shit in their food. Um... I feel like this person wants you to view them as the emperor, but you feel like this person is a liar. You don't trust them. This person is very emotionally codependent on you, though. So it's something here where they're not fully in their emperor energy, but they want you to view them as an emperor. 
this could be somebody that's older than y'all in age as well. Like this is somebody that could, there could be an age gap, an age difference here between you two for some of you. Or there's a significant age gap between them and this empress in the reverse. Whoever this is, this this woman is emotionally out of line. <laughs> like this bitch is out of pocket. Whoever she is, she's very uncontrollable. Like she's she's impossible to deal with. I feel like this woman, and I hate to talk about people like this, but this is just the energy, you guys. Like her energy is bad. It's something here where she's just very emotionally manipulative very emotionally unstable this is somebody that will dry at the the drop of a dime but only in their own benefit like this is somebody that's dramatic you know it's like they'll cry to get what they want like you know what i mean like this is that type of person like they will put on a show to get what they want or this is somebody that always plays the victim role like this man at, at some point in time he could have even felt guilty about wanting to leave this woman and stay longer than he should have because she made him feel guilty for wanting to leave. It's like he feels like it's his duty to stay with her ass. Like it's something here where this woman is like she got her fucking talents in this man. Like it's something here where she has clawed herself into this man. And she really got some sort of mind control over this nigga. Like it's really giving that. Like she really got this man by the fucking balls. Like. Like you're, you owe me or you can't leave me. You owe your life over to me. So maybe she did something for this man at one point in time in their relationship, if that's what you want to call this. But it's like, now he feels like he's in debt to her. Like he owes her for life. Like it's his duty to stay with her. And if they have children, she could be using the children against him as well. This woman is crazy. Oh. Yeah, they fight a lot, too. <laughs> they fight a lot. This man is depressed. He's so drained. He's tired of fighting. This man stays in his car. Before, if, like, this man don't go straight home. He try to take the long way home. And once he pulls up to the house, he sits in his car for a long time. He dreads going inside of his house. Because he knows as soon as he closes the door, this bitch is going to be complaining about something. All she does is nag. All she does is complain. She drains him. He's tired. He's he's overwhelmed. He just wants her to shut the fuck up. It's just a lot of issues here between these two. I mean, this energy is horrible. Whoever this is, he wants you. Water signs, he wants you. But he, he feels like he's ran out of time. Especially for those of you that's traveling, moving, relocating. You could be going a distance. Or this could have already happened. Some of you could have already moved and you're at a distance from this man. And they're mad because they feel stuck. They like, come on, you ain't gonna fucking rescue me. You ain't gonna rescue me. You ain't gonna save me. Yeah, what is signs, you showing up as the high priestess. This person feel like, yo, you eating good. You over there eating steak and shrimps and shit, bitch. This motherfucker said you over there sitting on a fortune, okay? Something about your money, your finances, your business, your home. I mean, you living good. And I feel like you own your shit too. But it's like this person is like fuck i know you know what i'm going through come save me like this person wants you to save them it's not funny i'm sorry this person wants you to save them they want you to rescue them but i feel like they could have did some foul shit to you at one point and it's not that you holding a grudge but you're not coming to save no damn body you like baby you gonna have to save yourself the same way i had to save myself to get myself in this position that i'm in you're gonna have to figure your shit out you chose to be over there okay figure it out this person is feeling stuck, okay? They like, please save me. High priestess, save me. <laughs> but this is somebody that's mean anyway. Like, this is somebody that could have tried to set you up at one point, water signs. This person could be trying to send a king of swords in a reverse towards you. Be mindful of somebody just popping up on y'all or somebody wanting to come towards y'all. This person is the king of swords in reverse. I don't like that. That's somebody that will hurt you for real. Um, yeah, this is somebody that got a fucking attitude, but they coming in with a false, listen, be mindful of somebody trying to come towards you and offer you a cup of love or some sort of friendship here, or they want to give something to you. They want to make a truce. They want to make a pact. They want to invest in you. Water signs. This is a warning. You guys need to be careful of a king of swords in the reverse coming towards you in your direction. This person could be a Gemini. Somebody with strong Gemini in their chart for some of you. Whoever this is, they're working together with this person. Somebody here could also have a Sagittarius moon placement. But you need to be very fucking careful of this King of Swords in Reverse coming towards you because I feel like shit is going to hit the fan and that's what they want. This person 
wants to get into some sort of dispute with you, some sort of confrontation here. They want to fight. Somebody here is trying to send another man or a woman towards you so that y'all could fight. It's like it's giving set up energy. Water signs, be very mindful of this. Be also mindful of a fake ass friend being around you to try to lure you into some shit so that you can get set up or fight here with somebody. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. This is a warning. Okay. This is a warning, 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 warning. Okay. Warning. Okay. The drama king is in the building. No, but this drama king is sending other drama filled motherfuckers to do his dirty deeds here because you ain't coming to save him. Get, what? What a science is this? Like, who this? Who y'all? Who y'all was dealing with? Who, what is this? This is stupid. I'm gonna talk to y'all, but this is a warning. But you showing up as a high priestess, so I feel like you already know you ten steps ahead of motherfuckers. You like, I wish a motherfucker would. My dog is out back, and he he eat niggas for fun. <laughs> okay, like I don't know. I just feel like y'all are not the one. So somebody here about to fuck around and find out. Um, water signs. I'm gonna talk to y'all soon, child. Peace.